All right, here we go, guys. And the last boat video we did was picking boats off the side of the road. Well, something radically different here. We're going to talk about a 2020 CV-29B, uh, a shorter version of my boat, a 310B, a 2005 mine. Uh, this is a brand new boat, a 2020. And for the Florida guys, th this is going to sound a little weird, but this boat is set up as a nearshore fish killing machine. And Lou Yen, the proud owner, is a light tackle specialist, specifically fly fishing. And we can see some shots here of some of the, the flies that Lou Yan ties himself. And we'll go over the boat and you'll see that a lot of the touches on the boat are specific to this type of fishing. So this includes forward seating, a casting deck, things you don't normally find on an offshore center council. And I, I mentioned the Florida guys earlier, the difference between the Northeast where we're based and Florida is we generally, generally have deeper water. So you don't need necessarily a flat boat, a skiff to get into the the shallow water type fishing. You can get away with an offshore center council. And Luyan does plan to use this for offshore tuna trips as well. But a beautiful boat. Thank you, Luyan, for showing it to me this past, this past September. Hope you enjoy. As always, if you do, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please hit that subscribe button. All right, here we go, guys. We're on a 2020 CB29, and we're here with the proud owner, Lu Yen. Lu Yen, hello. Lu Yen, hey, Lu how Yen. are you? Lu Yen, Lu Yen, hello. We got it. And you'll see, this is outfitted a little differently than my 32 CB. Now, those of you that know my boat, that is. Um, very rare to see forward seating on a, on a CV, but there's a method to Lu Yen's madness. Lu Yen, tell them what your specialty is. Hey, so I'm, uh, you know, I, my boat has to do two things, really three things now really well. One of them is uh, I'm about 85% a fly fisherman, light tackle, inshore and nearshore guy. Uh, so we use this boat to chase big striped bass uh, all the way up in the skinny water in the spring and the fall, but also offshore and nearshore in the, the middle season and in the fall. You know, Benito, albacore, um, yeah, other small pelagics, uh, bluefish, etc. Mostly on fly tackle. Um, but I'm also a family guy. So, you know, I've got a wife and two kids. Uh, they love the boat. You know, we'll cruise with this boat too. So we needed to have the creature comforts. Uh, I'm actually here with my father-in-law, David. There's David. Uh, Hello, David. <laughs> so the, uh, David, David's keen uh, uh, on, the, uh, on the comfortable seating. Right. And creature comfort. David well. was quick to mention when we were looking at the boat earlier that we have a plumbed head in the yes, in, yeah, in the council. Got a fully plumbed head. So this thing is really a great family boat too. And then the reason I really stepped up from my previous boat, which was a 22 Scout, is that the offshore fishery has gotten so good out here the last few years. So and out know, here is Eastern Long Island. Eastern We're... Long Island, off of Montauk, the whole southern side of Long Island, all the way up to Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, and we really want to be able to fish, you know. 20, 30, 40, 50 miles offshore for for tuna on light tackle as well. Right. So this boat really gives us the ability to, to do to do all those things. Hard to do everything in a small boat, hard to do maybe some of the skinny stuff in a in a bigger boat, but you know, uh, certainly I, and I know some of the spots you're talking about, this this can get into three feet of water, yeah. four feet of water. Yeah. Yeah, I this, mean we're in, in I believe six feet right now and there are some shallow spots yeah, here. So yeah. As long as you're careful, right? You're not going yeah. into six inches of water. You're yeah. you're fine with this. And yeah. and you know we we like to start at the bow. And you know now that you just described the whole light tackle to fly fishing, this is a very unique setup. And maybe you can uh, and right that top cushion is yeah. removable. So um, this this center bow filler itself is entirely removable. So there's there's two hinges under there. You, you pop the hinges and this whole platform goes out. But most of the time we don't have to even bother to take this out because the seat cushion comes out. Right. And you know, this is actually uh, uh, got C deck on it and is a really good uh, light tackle fly fishing platform. Like if I'm standing on this to fish, you know, it hits me just below the knee. Perfect, yeah. So I'm very secure and I can fly cast now like this and I have a much better angle to the fish and to the water and I'm 
I'm low enough to the water that I feel like I mean, I'm really like in a flat skip at this point. Yeah, yeah. So that, that was the purpose of this. Yeah, and if you think about it, if you were in a flat skip, that that's probably right where your knees would be if you were in the yeah. in the front of the boat. That's right. So if we pop this out, you know, it's more your thighs. More around here. Yeah. So if we're out tuna fishing. We're gonna take this thing out, right. and then you know we can throw. And again, two hinges easily removable in thirty removable seconds. And, and easily now. Yep. And then you have, I presume, storage under. Yeah. So. Um, so as you can see, you got a nice big fish box here. Right. And I have uh, that too on my CV. It's yep. enormous. It goes all the way forward. All the way it forward. holds ice. We don't have to pop that up because I know we, we'd have to move that. all that. It's got, you can see that we have a picnic table mount here. Yep. Uh, and the picnic so table I know is stored in the head. Stored down here so when we're cruising we can, we can use this for that. Um, these, by the way, these seats are oh, then electric they're, backrests. Yeah, they're electric, huh? That's that's interesting. So, you know, you, yeah. you can... And again, you were talking about uh, the making the wife and kids happy and yeah. the father-in-law happy. Yeah. Hey, David, again. <laughs> uh, this is yeah. a nice touch. And I know, you know the, people the, like to cruise up here. The ride, I mean, in my old Scout, you know, we had forward seating, but you, you really couldn't sit here. It was a smaller boat. boat. You probably pounded you're like pounding, crazy. You're yeah. Wet. On this, you know, you, we can be cruising on a nice day, 30, 40 miles per hour. This is totally usable. Right, seated. right. And then um, under this is is more storage. Yeah. Yeah. And this goes forward. And yep. Yep. Very cool. And that's the same on this side, obviously. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, so when I, I, my friends, when they talk about my boat, the thing they really like is that CV does not let any space go unused. You have these shelves here, yeah. and you know, I keep rope here, I yeah. keep gulp here. Yeah. Um, on a lot of boats, it's just wasted space. Yeah. And this is like a really clever idea. And I know a lot of boats have it, but I, I'm yeah. surprised that, that more boats don't, because yeah. it's, and it's on those boats, very it's wasted dry space. space. It is, so, I agree. You know, I keep my line, my dock lines there. So, so do I, yep. And you'd think they'd get soaked, and they don't. Nope. They're fine, and they're really easily accessible that way. Yep. And then you have the forward entry here, just, yep. just like I do on mine. And, yep, and there's the front head, there's access to your battery switches, your electronics, you open that panel. There's that black bag has the table, you can see Luyan has his uh, safety equipment in here too, it's throwable. Remember to keep that out when you're under power, yeah. underway, yep. you might get a ticket. <laughs> um, but yeah, really cool. Um, same layout, and you have the, you have though the, the hand rest, which you said was uh, yeah. something your wife insisted yeah, on, so right? Yeah, yeah, so when, when, arm rest here, so when this is down, yep. you know, you got uh, just added added security when you're yeah. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the fully enclosed windshield, again, for us Northeast guys, that's a big deal. I, I And I know it's a, uh, what do they call this material? Polycarbonate material. Polycarbonate, there you go, Luyan. Um, but it does give you a lot of protection when you're driving, you don't really feel the wind. You have the fresh water washed down, the salt water washed down. Um, let's uh, check out the electronics. You're good, David. Okay. David, you want to go over the electronics? <laughs> no, but you will. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So we um, uh, we have two of the uh, Garmin eighty six twelve um, displays in. Um, they're all network based. So one is the um, I guess it's the XSV, which has the, um, the, the side the, scan, the, right? Side, that has a sonar equipment it gets sort of wired to it, and then. The other display, you know, just plugs in and mirrors everything uh, seamlessly. A couple of the nice things is, you know, so I have this uh, through the Active Captain app uh, wired so that my phone is completely integrated into this. So um, I don't have to take my eyes off the MFDs if uh, a text message comes in. Or oh, wow. Comes That's in. really cool. Uh, which is really nice. It just pops up right on the screen. I also have. Just be careful with your wife on the boat. That, yeah, uh, I know. I know. Right. Oh well, no, know, David. I'm, I'm only kidding. I'm not, I'm not implying. Well, because it'll be her, her dad saying, "Get back to the dock. You uh, forgot me." <laughs> uh, I also have. Uh, I don't know for you know some of your uh, viewers if they use, uh, particularly for those going offshore. Uh, the Garmin InReach. So it's a, um, a satellite, a, a mini satellite. Um, 
a device from Garmin that you tether your phone to. And so I can text even when I'm offshore out of cell phone range. Right, right. And all of that comes up here and also shows the uh, longitude lab to So Betty, if you're ever in danger, if you're out of radio yep. range, you can text yep. somebody and say, hey, we broke down right. and they can communicate that to the Coast Guard or to That's whoever. Right. Or if you got a buddy out there that you're offshore with who finds a tuna before you do, he says, right. come over here, the coordinates pop up, just you know, plot it in the autopilot and boom. Nice, there. nice. And then you don't have to get up. This is the same same seating that I have, but much nicer backrest. And again, uh, the armrest here. It's got storage under here. Um, coming back to the business side, why don't we start with the engines, Lou Yang? Because sure. this is pretty cool. Like, the thing, when, when we were talking about this boat uh, on the whole trip website, right? Um, these are the new V8 uh, Mercury 300s. And the, you know, the reports on these are just super impressive. I know you don't have a lot of time on yeah. them, but it, this seems like it's the, the perfect match to these yeah. engines. And I know when, when CB tested this before you, you picked up the boat, yeah. they were seeing a 61 top end, yeah. and, which is insane. And uh, I think like a one five to one eight in the cruising range, a little yep. slower. You're getting one eight, a little. Yep. Now you're still dialing it in. Yep. Um, but that's what you're going to expect when everything is said and done. Yeah. So it's about you know sixty ten, sixty twenty on RPM. Uh, top end of about sixty two, sixty one. You know, fuel efficiency of anywhere around the one point five to one point eight miles per gallon. Um, and they they feel noticeably torquey. Yeah, well they're V8s, uh, so. So you never feel like, you know, on, on some of my buddy's boats, you know. Um, you, I know what you're you talking about. You feel swap. like you have to yeah. really you gotta get, slam you gotta it like, to get, get on, on plane, plane, then right. you, these probably yeah. just. This just feels like it's on plane all the time. You yeah. know, it's more it's more gradual. Like you never feel like you gotta, you're squatting and you gotta pop out of the right. hole. You're just kind of all the way down. Yeah, plane. yeah. Yeah, and then you got a big live well here. Same one I have. Um, I'm gonna. Is this? Oh, you know what? On mine, I have a. I have to twist okay, it. You don't yeah, have no. to twist it here. No. Um, I can take this out. No, no, it's good. It's good. Yeah, I mean, it's a live well. And then I use that for garbage on mine. I, I have yeah. all my customers throw their garbage in there. But it's a so this, it's a little bait station. Yeah, a little bait station, a little um, drain there. Yeah. Again, I find it a good place to just throw the garbage out, uh, keep a bag in there, and then I just throw everything out at the end of the day. Good idea. Um, now you have the the table, the the seat back here, which I don't. I use bean bags. Yeah. So you know, um, this is one thing that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, we were talking about this. Yeah, we I wish this they could there. improve on this because in this day and age where everybody has those those foldable rear seats that, that really tuck into your transom area and they're out of the way, yeah. CB has yet to really perfect that art. Yeah, so, um, you know, this flips up, which is nice, and it has, you know, these, these yeah. legs that pull down, which is great. Yeah, it is. I just it think, is. you know... It'd be nice, nice if it just tucked out of the way completely. integrated into the transom and got out of the way. I, I, I agree with you. And then you have more storage under my foot, yeah. which um, right now you have your fenders in there, but it's the same on the other side. So just a ton of storage this, in this boat. I put my cleaning supplies in here. Yep. This is fully drained as yep. well. It's a, you know, obviously you can use this as a fish box too. Correct. Yep. Um, and then you have the slide out cooler, yeah. which is awesome. So, and it looks like it has mezzanine seating. Yeah. So this is nice. So the little hatch there, you just pop that in and then that yeah so this is actually a really big cooler this cooler is bigger than mine and i like the fact that you again if you're if you're and i know you're not really a trolling guy right you're you're the light tackle guy yeah. but if you were buying this boat and wanting to troll for tuna um somebody could just sit here yeah. and just watch and it's quite comfortable actually yeah yep. yeah so more seating. Yeah, more seating also when you're running out there. And you know what? If you wanted to take this off because it is removable yep. just and just right use off. this, you yep. you could if you had like four guys fishing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, this is awesome too. Yep. Just well thought out with all these storage features. And then you have the ring station up here too with the more rod holders and cup holders up here. 
rigging station here. You can put your rod in one of these holders. Oh, and you know what I forgot? Uh, I'm jumping all over the place, but you have the Key West hardtop. Yeah. And for those guys that don't know what a Key West hardtop is, if you look up here, the hardtop slopes in and it becomes narrower forward of the boat. And what that allows you to do is put more rod holders here and you could stack four more rods and the what's the one rule on all fishing boats there's never enough never enough rod holders there's never not on this boat you got you got one two three four five six seven eight just on the port side another eight on the starboard side four here four there you have more underneath you got them on the transom and on the rod yeah, you got more up here on the rod. You got six here. You got four here. You got two more here. And you got two more aft. So yeah, so you're at what, 30 at least? Yeah, and then also this is important for those of us who are light tackle guys. Yeah. And fly rod is, you'll see I have the under gunnels too. Yep. So this will fit a nine or 10 foot rod down here. I can put two on each of these. So that's four on each side. Yeah, that's awesome. And then we all have one secret here. You see, the secret, the secret rod holder is actually a, a rod holder down here. And that will get, take a nine foot rod all the way up through the bow. Wow. And then just secures with the strap there too. That's awesome. Yeah, man, beautiful boat. Thank you for, for letting me come and review it. Little, uh, the original plan was we were going to maybe try to fish. I actually, there's my truck. I brought a rod behind me, uh, a, a spinner. But it is really windy and cold today. And uh, much to David's chagrin, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, you know, not do that today. But it was just well, a pleasure we'll do, to see. We can do another, another episode where we take this thing out. Oh, yeah, for sure. Maybe when the Albies are in and yeah, you got them dialed weeks. in, we'll, yep. we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, I'd be happy to and, and, you know, we talked about this earlier. This is a very prying question, but if somebody's looking to buy a 29 yeah. CV, yeah. roughly what I... We haven't yeah. talked about the price yet, right? You have yeah. not told me the price. Yeah. I'm going to guess 240 to 250 I think you're right in the right range, okay. depending on options. So you can certainly spend more than that on it, but that's probably what you're talking about. You, know, you could probably, you know, the, on a baseline level, if you really went no features, you could might maybe get slightly below that, but that's about the right range. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you for sharing that much detail, Louis, and thank you for uh, showing us the boat. David, thank you for tagging along uh, you're welcome. and uh, explaining the steering wheel to us. I think that, that's going to be the highlight of the video. But uh, yeah, great boat. Good, best of luck well, with it. You've only had it. Are coming up. <laughs> oh, I, I, I seriously doubt that, David, but I like your optimism. All right, guys. Thank you, John. Take care. Yep.